You must have been familiar with the apocryphal Hausa history of a snake at the Gusugu well in Daura, present-day northern Nigeria, which terrorized the locals before it was slain by Bayajida, a prince of Baghdad who married Queen Daurama to establish the seven Hausa states. In this video, we shall tell you the Roman version of this story which happened 2,275 years ago in Carthage, present-day Tunisia. It is a story of a Roman general named Marcus Atilius Regulus who encountered a large serpent during the First Punic War. It was in the year 255 BC and the First Punic War had been rampant and going on for eight years. The soldiers engaged in battlefields that stretched across Sicily and the waters surrounding the island. In fact, ambushes and skirmishes extended as far as the coast of Italy near the capital, Rome. However, to bring an end to the fighting, the Romans decided to mount an invasion of North Africa. Of course, their nearest entry point was Carthage. This had only happened once when the tyrant king Agathocus of Syracuse had tried to invade North Africa 65 years before in 310 BC but was later defeated after a two-month toilsome and perilous march. He fled the battle secretly after the defeat. Forgetting to learn from the king's defeat, the Romans chose the statesman, consul and general Marcus Atilius Regulus to lead the campaign to North Africa. Like Agathocus before him, Regulus's army suffered a humiliating defeat at the hands of the Carthaginians who had hired the mercenary Spartan general Xantippus who made Regulus and his army fight on open ground which allowed him to maximize the effect of the excellent Carthaginian cavalry and war elephants. The ensuing battle led to the death of 12,000 Romans with 500 of them taken as prisoners of war including Regulus. That defeat stopped any chance that the Romans would defeat Carthage in Africa and the rest of the war was fought at sea and in Sicily. But before this encounter with Sanctipus, Regulus and his men met a more dangerous enemy and that is the subject of this video. General Marcus Attilus Regulus landed in southern Carthage in North Africa, an area which was northeast of Sicily while marching towards Carthage itself. However, their journey took them through an unfriendly route, forcing them to march across the Bagradas River, present-day Mejada River, which flows from northeast Algeria through Tunisia before emptying into the Gulf of Tunis and Lake of Tunis. With a length of 450 kilometers, that is 280 miles, it is the longest river in Tunisia. It was at this river that they met with their mysterious foe. According to the Roman jurist, statesman and writer Quintus Elias Tubero, who flourished in the year 11 BC, Regulus, while camping at the Bagradas River, met a serpent of extraordinary size, like the size of the Amazon's anaconda. The serpent had been based in that region and Regulus and his soldiers fought a stubborn and fierce battle with it. The entire army kept attacking it with different weapons for a very long time until it was subdued and finally killed. In fact, its skin was reported to be 120 feet long which was then sent to Rome as a trophy. Another version of this story comes from the Roman historian Titus Livius who was simply known as Livy in English. Livy's books from the foundation of the city covers the monumental history of Rome and the Roman people. The work covers the period from the earliest legends of Rome before the traditional foundation in 753 BC through the reign of Augustus in Livy's own lifetime. Livy also flourished at the end of the 1st century BC through to 17 AD, the purported year of his death. In his work, he recorded that Regulus killed an abnormal and absurd serpent which killed many of his soldiers. The dragon serpent was so huge that it denied Regulus and his army access to the Bagradas river. The serpent with its large mouth seized many of the soldiers and crushed them to death. It also killed many of them with its sharp swinging tail. In fact, the missiles thrown at it were ineffective. However, Regulus and his men finally held plenty of stones at it until the serpent was brought down by the weighty blows. Corroborating Tuberu's account, 
Regulus and his men skinned the serpents and sent it to Rome. They were forced to decamp from the site because of the bad smelling substances the serpent had emitted. Another version of this story was penned down by Paulus Orosius. He was a Galatian Chalcedonian priest, historian, and theologian, and a student of Augustine of Hippo. It is believed he might have derived his source from Livy. Orosius was a good historian and he wrote more about Regulus's role. The Roman general, who had been chosen by lots for the Carthaginian War, set out his army to attack the serpents after they had pitched their camp at the Bagradas River. Orosius wrote that the serpent killed many of the soldiers as the javelins and darts they threw at it had no effect as they glided off its horrible scaly fins as if from a slanting testudo of shields. In fact, the creature suffered no injury. When Regulus could no longer stand the loss the serpent was inflicting on his army, he ordered for a ballista to be brought up. A ballista is a catapult used in ancient warfare for hauling large stones. A stone taken from a wall was hauled by a ballista which struck the spine of the serpent and weakened its entire body. They then proceeded to spear and skin the serpent, which had for a long time withstood so many javelins unharmed. Its skin, about 120 feet long, was sent to Rome. There are other versions of this story, some of which were told by Regulus' soldiers who made it back to Rome. About the skin of the serpent, it was displayed in one of the temples in Rome before its mysterious disappearance around the year 133 BC. If you enjoyed the video, don't hesitate to like and share it with your friends. We always have more stories like these to talk about. You can also check out this playlist to watch more videos on ancient history.